According to research, we spend on an average 70 to 80 percent of our day communicating with other people. Without a doubt, communication plays an important role to convey our thoughts, ideas and feelings. Do you know that a person who has good communication skills can be hired for a job easily? Because he or she knows how to present their ideas in front of everyone. But many of us lack the confidence to communicate and we often hesitate to talk to others. Today, we will discuss 7 methods for improving communication skill from the book How to Talk to Anyone, written by Lyle Londes. It is an amazing book with a lot of tips and hacks to help you communicate fluently. So, if you also face any difficulty while communicating, then watch the video carefully. Speaking is just one form of communication, which is verbal. But non-verbal communication is equally powerful. According to the author, you can communicate a lot without even saying a word. Two techniques you can use. First, smile big at the right time. When you meet someone, take a pause and then give a big genuine smile. This makes you look friendly and approachable. So, method number one, greet with a smile. Next, again in the form of non-verbal communication is making an eye contact with a person. Making good eye contact for a while reflects confidence in you. It also makes the other person feel respectful that you pay attention to them. But do not stare at them. Just short but strong eye contact does the deal. So, method number two, make a short and strong eye contact. Coming to verbal communication. How do you talk to someone? Before speaking comes listening. Listen to the person and identify their mood and try to match their mood. For example, if they are in a casual and fun mood, it's not a good idea to talk about something serious. But you can just ask or tell them something that will keep the mood light. The chances of conversation getting forward increases a lot when you keep up with their mood. So, method number three match with the mood of the person. Most of us just answer in a word or two. If asked, where are you from? We may just reply Kolkata or Delhi. And the conversation is likely to end soon. Instead of answering blandly, you can describe to them the weather or culture of your city in a sentence or two. This will make the conversation interesting and likely to last longer. For example, you can say something like, oh, I am from City of Joy, Kolkata. So, method number four, never reply in one word. Make your answers interesting. Every single person loves to get attention. So, don't keep talking about yourself. Try to keep the limelight on the opposite person. Ask them about their hobbies or work and appreciate them genuinely. Don't exaggerate but keep them in focus. Listen to them patiently. So, method number five, Keep the other person in the focus of the conversation. How many times do we run out of topics for conversation? Very often, right? A simple hack is to be up to date with the latest news and happenings. Whenever you feel there is no topic for talking about, just pick up a trending topic related to sports, business or movies according to their interests. This also shows that you are knowledgeable and make a good impression of your personality. So, method number six, talk about the latest happenings whenever you run out of topics. Body language is one of the major aspects as it forms about 55% of communication. Starting with the posture, make sure you stand and sit straight in an open posture. You should always give a powerful handshake. When you walk, you should be fast and confident. Your body language speaks a lot about your personality. It makes you more approachable and impressive. So, method number seven, maintain a good body language. Now, let's quickly summarize all seven methods. Method number one, greet with a smile. Method number two, make a short and strong eye contact. Method number three, match with the mood of the person. Method number four, never reply in one word. Make your answers interesting. Method number 5. Keep the other person in the focus of the conversation. Method number 6. Talk about the latest happenings whenever you run out of topics. 
Method number seven, maintain good body language. If you want to learn more about communication, you can buy the book, How to Talk to Anyone by Lyle Launders from the link in the description. You can also download the infographic summary from the link in the description. Keep improving your communication skills and thank you for watching. More wisdom, more solution, better life.